I mean, if it's something you want to do, go right ahead and do it. But me personally, I, I don't get down like that. Never have. Don't think I ever will, but who, you know, you never know. I might wake up one morning and want a little Piperton. I hit hard bars, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo. And today, y'all already know what the going on, man. We back with Tell It to Mo Tuesday. Now, I know it's a lot of new subscribers on the channel, so I just want to explain a little bit what Tell It to Mo Tuesday is. Tell It to Mo Tuesday is when you send me a one minute entry that could be to my Instagram. I'm going to leave it right here. My Snapchat, I'm going to leave it right here. Or my Facebook or the email. I'm going to leave it all right here, okay? You send me a one minute video asking me for advice about anything. It could be anything, y'all. When I say anything, I mean anything. My face crusty. Okay, good. All right. So today we got some entries, y'all. Y'all see I got the pink on. I really don't wear pink. But I just think I look so damn good in this pink. Got my antennas flowing. It's all good. Why y'all ain't tell me I was this dry? Just dry. Everywhere. Cocoa butter kisses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love the smell of this shit. We gonna go ahead and get started, y'all. Yeah. Ma texting me. Y'all be right back. I gotta go bust a move. All right, Mo Mafia. We good. Handled that. So, y'all, today we're gonna do the Tell It to Mo Tuesday for everybody who knew. I just want y'all to know that Tell It to Mo Tuesday is open for everybody. Uh, new subscribers, old subscribers, anybody. You feel me? Just in enter your um, entry. Put your entry in. And I'm gonna tell you like it is. I'm gonna give you my advice. And if y'all haven't recognized yet, I give some good advice. Because I keep it real. You feel me? All right, y'all. First entry. Let me see. Hey, Mo. This is Veronica from Seattle. So I'm having problems with this supervisor at my job. He's not my supervisor, but he works in the office. He doesn't work on Mondays, which is great because I don't have to deal with his energy. But from Tuesday to Friday, I keep crystals in my bra just so I don't have to deal with his negativity. He talks down on people. He's just rude. And you can say something positive, and he just always says, like, the negative side of it. And it's just so annoying. It's gotten to the point that it's messing with my money to the point that I don't even want to come to work. I call out just so I don't have to be around him. I don't want to quit my job because I like my job, but I feel like he's driving me to the point where I just want to say, you know, fuck it. What do you think I should do? All right, so basically she works somewhere where it's a real negative supervisor. Um, and she been calling out of work and, you know what I'm saying, he make her uncomfortable. My advice to you would be to basically, if there is someone higher up than him, to confront them about your situation. Because most jobs have um, like a, what is that called? Like a... Um, like a worker's, uh, what the hell am I, the word I'm looking for. They have it to where you could like, um, if you have issues at work, you can talk to somebody uh, like, a, like a work counselor. Not like a work counselor, but somebody higher up than that supervisor should be available to assist you with that issue. I would do that. I would, you know what I'm saying? Go to them, let them know, hey. He he real negative. I'm not liking the energy. I joined this company to be myself and to be comfortable. I like this company. You know what I'm saying? I want to work here, but I don't want to have to deal with his negativity. Um, you know what I'm saying? Again, most companies have that, but some may not. I'm not sure because I ain't worked everywhere in the world. But at the end of the day, don't let him fuck up your money. That's how you take care of yourself. I'm not going to let nobody negative at a job. You know what I'm saying? Fuck up what I got going on. Because at the end of the day, I got to live and I got to eat. You know what I'm saying? 
So, I mean, that would be my advice to you on that. Try to reach out to somebody higher up than him. You, When you do address them with the situation, come to them on a real professional level. Because that's going to make you seem like, you know, if you don't, if you don't come to them on a professional level, level is going to make you seem like you may be the problem and you want to make sure that they know that you're not the issue he is that would be that would be my advice all right next one what's good this is your girl jess mess from san francisco california you dig <laughs> um this is for get lit with mo tuesday so my question is okay What would you do if you've been with your girl for two years, everything cool, everything lit, and out of nowhere, she ghosts on you? And it's your birthday. And you found out that she went back with her ex and didn't explain to you nothing. And everything is good. Everything is good. She didn't explain nothing. Like... Made you go out and buy dinner. Told you she was on her way in 45 minutes, but never showed up. And it's your birthday. What would you do? Holla at me. I need to know. <coughs> Baby girl had me fucked up. Oh, I'm about to get ratchet. I'm not, though. <clears throat> so, it's her birthday. She supposed to kick it with her girl. Been together two years. On her birthday, her, go her girl goes ghost. Her girl goes ghost. Don't show up and you find out she didn't went back to the ex. That's a fucked up situation. That's some grimy shit. On your birthday though, baby girl bogus. She knows she wrong. What would I do? I would, I would let it ride. Because you know what? If she don't see the beauty in you and she don't respect you enough to come to you as a grown ass woman and let you know, hey, I'm not feeling it no more. I'm going back to my ex. That's that, that's my decision. This is my life. That's fine. But if she if she wasn't woman enough to come to you and tell you that she don't deserve your time, she don't even deserve to really uh, be a topic on this discussion right now because she 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 a bogus ass female who does that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm with you. We together two years. You done wasted two years of my time? Fuck no. Really? That's that's grimy. But if you love her and you want to work shit out, that's different. You feel me? Because two years is a long time invested in somebody. I can't say that. Um, but just to disappear though, I don't get no explanation. You can't be woman enough to tell me. That's fucked up. Mm mm. That would be my advice. So, either you, you know what I'm saying, you can reach out, but ain't no, ain't no triple reaching out, though. Once I reach out once, and if you, ain't with, if you ain't on the level I'm on trying to work shit out, fuck you. It's good. Go ahead, baby girl, because it's a million other females that can have your place, and I don't deserve that. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so, I'm, I'm, right now I'm in my self-love mode. So, if, if, if something off... Bye. Toodles. Skedaddle. The fuck? Ooh, y'all got me hot today. Next one. Oh, this is Veronica from Seattle. I know you probably answered my question on this Tuesday, but if you can answer this one last question for me, I really appreciate it. So there's this party that's happening next month. Mind you, I'm 23 years old. I've never been to a party. I've never been to a club. I've always been shy. But I really want to go just to see if I can make friends. Um, if you can help me, just tell me what it's like to go to a party. What can I do to make sure that I can make friends at the party? Something, I don't know. Maybe even make a, a date. I don't even have a date. Nothing. I'm not about myself. I'm lonely. But can you help me, please? I need your help. Again, thanks. What was her name? Veronica? Let me just... Hey, Mo, this is Veronica. Okay, her name Veronica. Veronica, baby. Let me tell you this. <laughs> what you do, Veronica, let me tell you. I used to throw parties, so I know how it is. I, I've had people come to my parties who were by themselves, shy. You know what I'm saying? What you do is, 
I'm pretty sure you probably know the person throwing the party. You feel me? First of all, you holler at them. You let them know, hey, I'm coming alone so you could pull some single ladies. Had them in the joint looking good. You know what I'm saying? You holler at them, let them know that. And then what you do on your end, you go grab you some drip, get your hair done, put on your nice clothes, get you some drip, get you some smell good, spray that shit on, and you walk, when you walk in that motherfucking party, you walk in like you the finest thing there. And I'm telling you, confidence, ladies love confidence. If you got your confidence on point, man, they're going to be all over you all night. What is you talking about? Man, I'm telling you, get you some drip, get your hair done, make sure your lips nice and oiled up, your face and skin looking good, your nails clean, and you walk up in there with your confidence, and you ain't really got to even talk to nobody, just kind of walk in there with your hell head high, with your shoulders back, you feel me? And you walk in there, you just chill for a minute, get you a drink, and then if you see somebody that you might be digging a little bit, go vibe. You know what I'm saying? Notice something that nobody else might notice. You feel me? Like, maybe something about her hair or her outfit. You know, I like what you got on. You looking nice tonight. You know what I'm saying? Just, just get you, I'm telling you, get you a drink, Veronica. Throw that motherfucker back. Maybe even two. Don't get too messed up because you don't want to be sloppy drunk all in people's face. Because people get irritated by that. But... Get you a drink, bob out, bob your head to the music a little bit, work on your dance moves. You ain't even got to do too much, just a little two-step. You feel me? little two-step. Ain't never hurt nobody. And vibe out. And I'm telling you, I guarantee you, somebody going to holler at you or you going to feel the vibe to holler at somebody. And then it's on and popping from there. That would be my advice. That's what I would do. Next one. Alright, so I go into work the other day. Three of my coworkers in there. They happen to be Caucasian. They're talking about our other coworker. He's black. It was like, um, you know, like he always late, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So one of them comes through and he's like, well, my homeboy told me that that's called something when black people are always late. And all of us looking. I just looked up. You know what I'm saying? I was still on my phone. I was just ready to work. Mm -hmm. So he comes through and he follows through with his sentence and he was like well my you know what i'm saying homeboy said it is called cp cpt and the other white people looking at him like what what is that and he says it's called color people time and he was like what yeah that's crazy like and they all just looking like looking at me for an answer so what, what would you do in that situation would you be offended or what like Cause I was just looking like the, the dude really just. And the only reason why I ain't say nothing is because it was three of them and it's one of me. So I already know, like, and I'm I'm new, and I'm one of the youngest people in here. So I already know it was gonna be their word against mine. I ain't had time, so I just let that shit go. But I, as I got like when I got off work and I started thinking about that shit, I was like, damn. Oh, hell no, nah. like, mm -mm. that junk can't fly like that, man, like, that's crazy. Wow. So she says she chilling at work, on break or whatever, some, some, caulk, some, some, some white people are talking, you feel me? And they talking about a black dude. And one of the white people say he always late. And then another one goes to say he running on CPT, color people time. What would I do? <laughs> what would Mo do? Mo would have went the hell off and won and still had her job. That's what I would have did. But you new to the job, you know what I'm saying? You don't really know nobody. I understand that you don't want to lose your job. First of all, that's a racist comment. Now, in the workplace, you're not supposed to do that at all. They, they, they train you on that when you, when you start a new job, usually, that you, you know, things that happen, you, you can offend people that way. It's certain things you're not supposed to say at, at work, period. That's a racist comment. So what I would do if I was you, because you knew, you know what I'm saying, you didn't want to say nothing, you know the shit was out of order. 
you go to the supervisor or whoever's higher up and you let them know what they said. No, you're not being a snitch. Because first of all, if we was in the hood, you would have got your ass whooped. Because you're not colored. And who are you to call somebody black colored? That's racially profiling. So you're saying because he's black, he's always late? Hell no. You report that shit. Even if you got to send a quick little email. You let somebody know what they said because they shouldn't even have got away with that. You know what I'm saying? But I understand the fact that you knew and you know what I'm saying? You didn't want to say nothing because you ain't want to jeopardize what you got going on. But at the end of the day, nobody should be able to do that. That's not right in no eyes. Not even on the street. Let's alone at work. No. Oh, y'all got me hot today. These subjects? All right, y'all. We got... Three more, I think. I got two written ones and one more video, I think. Mo, my name is Rika Chica, and I live in Tucson, Arizona. So this is Tell It To Mo Tuesday. So this is my question for you today. So I got this little problem. My girl want to strap me down. I'm a motherfucking stud. No studs gang that no chick strap them down unless them studs love them legs wide open. I, don't, I like my legs tight. My Period. head closed, like, I don't Period. want my head wide open. So she got me fucked up. And Period. so I said, no, and she really wants to strap my head down. So my question to you is, would you ever let a bitch strap you down? I feel really uncomfortable asking this question. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's probably inappropriate, but, you know, i just really curious because no stud, right? No stud gonna, right? Like, am I the only... So yeah, that's my question. Anyways, you always keep me happy. Your videos, so I love your videos. I got you subscribed. Yeah. All right. So, bro said her girl trying to hit it from the back, make it clap. I mean, to each his own. But this is tell it to Mo Tuesday. So I'm gonna tell you. How I feel. A lot of y'all don't know my personal life, but I am a virgin. Okay? I've never been with a dude. Ever. Not once. You know what I'm saying? Never been with a girl in that way. Nothing. So, me personally, I'm not letting no girl bust me down. Now, I know studs who do do that. That's their thing. You feel me? Now, what, what I will tell you is... Don't go off society's mindset. If you've done it before or if you're only not doing it because you don't want to look a certain way, do not let that control what's going on in your household. You feel me? Your sex life. I mean, if it's something you want to do, go right ahead and do it. But me personally, I don't get down like that. Never have. Don't think I ever will, but who, you know, you never know. I might wake up one morning and want a little Piperton. <laughs> I, it's my life. You feel me? So, if I mean, if you ain't with it, you ain't with it. But if you, you know what I'm saying, you looking for a way to explain that to baby girl, just tell her, babe, listen, I, 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 I'm good. I, I don't want to do that. I mean... I love you, baby, but uh, I don't like it. Like, would you let me stick a broom up your ass? I mean, no. You feel me? That's, that's all I got to say. Next one. All right, so the last two y'all are um, written. So I'll put them on the screen uh, real quick. So this one say, um, I don't got no one to really talk to. I'm going to put it on here for advice. Me and my girlfriend slash ex been together nine months and still going, but feelings are lost. And she's on, she honestly doesn't love me like she used to, but we are still together because we both scared to lose each other. But we both at the point in the relationship that everything we do is annoying each other. We agreed on breaking up, but always end up back out 
um, when thinking about the past and when things were better. But the more I'm in this relationship, I feel hurt more and more every day because she treats me like a stranger and does not appreciate my love. When I, when I thought she had my back and any advice on either how to make this work or should I go even though it's really going to hurt? Okay, so her and a girl been together for nine months. Um, her girl pretty much doesn't treat her the same. And they still together because they're scared to lose each other. I'm going to tell you this. In relationships, we lose ourselves. We become somebody. We want to make someone else happy. You feel me? And we become dependent on somebody else's love. You have to love yourself more than you love the person you're with. I'm a I'm a whole testimony of that. You feel me? Like because when you with somebody, you just want to give them the world. You want to do everything that's right. You want to make sure they're happy. But you also deserve that in return. You know what I'm saying? You don't deserve to be mistreated, treated like like you know she don't love you like like she used to. So why stay? It's kind of like slapping yourself in the face. It's kind of like. A dog bite me and I, and I reach for his mouth after it's done bite me. No. You feel me? So my advice to you would be to sit down with her. If y'all have su had such a great relationship in the beginning, maybe y'all should separate, give each other some time, you know what I'm saying, to get each other together here and here. You feel me? Love yourself and then maybe y'all can rekindle or... Maybe y'all can separate and still be friends. It doesn't have to be on a on a love life level. You feel me? So that would be my that would be my advice to you. But in knowing that, you know what I'm saying, she appreciated you before and had your back and all of that, it, it's hard. I, I I definitely understand. You feel me? But just try to get back to you. And then if things change, if things get better, maybe y'all can rekindle. If not, just try to remain her friend. You feel me? Because honestly, I'm I'm still cool with all of my exes. Like literally, I just talked to my ex from like seven years ago, a couple days ago. We were just talking shit, laughing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on her, her personality, and your and you and your personality. That's what I think. Next one. All right, y'all. So this is really not an entry. Um, this is just like a genuine apology. Um, I'm going to read it and put it on the screen. Mo, my name is Tyree. I don't know if you remember the name, but neither, but neither here nor there. I have a slight situation on your live prank call video. On your live prank call video, I said something that offended another sub and it's been weighing on my heart heavy. I made a comment, call the hospital and order a kidney. I was being funny, so I thought, I know it's not a laughing matter, but I said it in a, in a, in a light, in light, in light, like in a funny way on my mama. My question is, do you know a way I can contact the sub so I can apologize to her? She says she has dialysis three times a week, and I understand. I have lupus, and I struggle with my disease being one that I can't cure, so I do, so I get it completely how my joke offended her. Uh, if you know any way, please let me know. Thank you in advance. Peace. Tyree, I just want to say that you are a real one for reaching out to me to apologize to another sub, one of our fellow family members in the Mo Mafia. Can we just put a heart in the comments for that for Tyree? Um, I do want to let my other subscriber know, you know what I'm saying, that night when he made that comment, he genuinely didn't mean anything. For him to reach out and try to get back to you to let you know that he is sorry, that's a lot. People don't do that every day. People are not genuine like that. So if you could, for me, forgive him for his comment, for his joke, because he honestly didn't mean nothing by it. You know, it was just a joking matter. We was doing prank calls. He was just making a request. Like he said, he battles with lupus, so he definitely understands where you're coming from and understands you're hurt. You feel me? So I just I hope that maybe uh, whatever uh, subscriber that is, you can comment and let Tyree know, hey, or reach out to me and then I can let him know because I have him in my DMs on Instagram. OK, all right. 
Y'all, that's gonna be it for Tell It To Mo Tuesday. I know I skipped two weeks. Um, if you did not get your entry put in today, no worries. Send it in. I'll get it done next week. I'm not gonna be skipping Tell It To Mo Tuesday anymore. It's just that we had uh, Christmas, then New Year's, so and they both fell like around Tuesday, so it was just a lot going on. So, Mo Mafia, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. Y'all, we surpassed 50K. It's lit. I got a 50K celebration coming. I'm just waiting on the right time to do it. I don't want to rush nothing. You feel me? Because I want it to be nice. You know what I'm talking about? And then we're going to get the giveaway popping. Um, if y'all have any video requests, you can shoot me a DM. I'm going to leave my Instagram right here. Hit me up on Snap. Add me on Instagram, you guys. I'm trying to reach 10K on Instagram. Right now, I'm a little shy of five. So I know we can do it. It's 50,000 of y'all. If 5,000 of y'all just go hit, follow, we there at 10K. If y'all could do that for me, I would definitely appreciate it. That would be your gift to me for hitting 50K, okay? Get me to 10K on Instagram. Instagram is going to be right here. It's mo underscore duh underscore go, all right? And Mo Mafia... We finna get lit, cause we the shit, gang.